Well, we reported earlier on the show of a white man in Texas who's been charged now with a federal hate crime for allegedly breaking the jaw of an elderly black man. That's not all he did. He says he was playing the knockout game attack. Have you heard about this? It's a disturbing trend across the country. And the feds are saying the hate crime charge is justified because the attack was motivated by racism. Others claim, though, it's a double standard in play here and that race is a factor. Jennifer Brand is a trial attorney. Sharon Lyko is a defense and trial attorney, also a family lawyer. Ladies, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Sharon, let me ask you first about whether or not this is appropriately being heard in federal court. Well, yeah, it's appropriately being heard in federal court because they charge it under a federal statute, so that's where they have to hear it. But is it a federal hate crime? I would say no that the guy is playing this computer game it's it's terrible but he was motivated because he wanted to be on national tv he well, that's, even made that's that statement. the allegation i mean a computer game not really apparently there is video that exists uh jennifer where he actually is showing to an undercover officer video of him knocking out sucker punching so to speak this African-American man who ends up with a broken jaw and other injuries and allegedly he's bragging about it. What other factors would you right. need to prove a hate crime? Well, the fact that he was racially motivated is what you need to prove the hate crime. And he specifically said that he was targeting an African-American man um, to, to knock him out. Not this particular man, but any African-American man. And I believe there was a number of instances on his cell phone and recordings on his cell phone that said he was target looking specifically for that type of person. And then he did end up hitting and harming this African-American man. Sharon I mean, is these knockout games are, are reprehensible as a whole and need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law so it is it is so appropriate that this is being charged as a hate crime because maybe it'll deter others from committing these types of crimes yeah, whether he, he'll black be against white or white against Sorry. black excuse me he'll be before a magistrate today and we'll see whether or not the charges will stick and he'll go to trial on this innocent of course until proven guilty but will that audio visual material from his cell phone Sharon be admissible in court understand that he is not seen but heard making racial epithets and also that the man in question who's been injured is seen s sustaining these serious injuries. Yes, I think it's going to be admissible, but again, they have to prove that it's a hate crime because the guy is black and there's evidence to show that the guy wanted to be on TV and he thought he could get on TV faster or quicker if he attacked somebody who is black. There's a lot of these crimes that are going on where the perpetrator is black and they are assaulting white people, but they're not being charged as hate crimes. So if they're going to prosecute, they need to prosecute consistently and not just target a certain segment mm -hmm. because it's happening to lots of people. If the guy targeted fat white men with gray hair, is that a hate crime? No. Well, I it's wanted just to a way to get on TV, hopefully. Let me him. call our viewers' attention to this video. I was going to ask our producers, and I'm so glad they we're way ahead of me on this to run this video so folks can see what this crime is you, just unsuspecting you're walking along and all of a sudden the game is that someone comes along and literally punches you out where you fall to the ground and they leave some of the injuries are minor some are substantial but jennifer in this particular case uh i i assume this man would have even civil uh, action that he could take against the man that he believes if, if he's prosecuted uh, for doing this crime, hate crime or not. What, are the, what would that look like, right. that case? Sure. I, I mean, he was injured by this man, so the extent of his injuries, uh, his inability to work as a result, or his, you know, his future um, harm that may have come to him as a result of this crime, yeah, sure, there would be civil damages to the extent that the defendant, Barrett, could pay them. I mean, we don't know what kind of money he has, so I don't know how, how much, you know, he will actually, the victim will actually receive in terms of a civil suit, but certainly he can bring civil charges. He also brought a private civil uh, criminal complaint against Mr. Mr. Barrett. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of charges against him. Uh, I think they are appropriate given, w especially the evidence that's here. We have very strong evidence. We have cell 
phone video, mm -hmm. which you don't always see in these types of cases, right. that really proves that he was racially motivated in this attack. And he it was specifically recovered, says it on his cell phone. We don't always see it recovered. I have to leave it there, ladies, but thank right. you so much. We're talking about it because it is a disturbing trend. We hope these charges or these cases will eliminate. We don't want to see them anymore. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.